ITPC, how are you all doing? I'm still alive. <laughs> Wanted to make a video to say thanks to everybody who uh, gave me their best wishes and everything because of that op. Uh, as you know, it's just a, a hernia, it's pretty regular sort of uh, routine sort of uh, men's operation but it was uh, very uh, touching how many people actually dropped me a note or mentioned it you know in comments and some in the videos you know hope all goes well but it went perfectly um, basically within about Actually, I was out of hospital in a day and um, walking about, you know, and within a week you almost feel like you're sort of 85% back to normal. And uh, the surgeon, a uh, Dr. Frankenstein, he, uh, he said within two weeks, you know, you'll more or less be back to, you know, what you can r routinely do, just don't lift any 747 jets or stuff stuff like that. He said, give it a month or something until you maybe lift heavy things. But um, I'm very pleased with it, actually. You know, and, and uh, he said everything went perfectly. It was just one of those things they blow you up, put a patch on where the rip is and, and they're out, you know, with, with these keyhole surgery methods, the keyhole method, so they drill three holes in you and the one under your tum tummy button is where the entire video cameras and all that and the whole studio goes to, so you have, you have uh, most of the bruising there, but within about two weeks, a lot of all of that's gone getting my manners housekeeping at all times so this is a Peter Heinrich calabash which is made in Italy and the style and finish of it is looks like Mastro de Paia to me made for Peter Heinrich the famous tobacconist in Germany and it's a really lovely pipe and it's a good deal as well not that expensive. Nine millimeter, of course. And in it, I fancied today some trout stream. It's got these blend from uh, Four Noggins. And uh, actually this was gifted to me by Boca de Boynton. Thank you, Charlie, very kind. I've got a good stock of this now, but I really love this blend. It's, it's just Gerald Ford's favorite. And it's just elegant and that lovely caramel is perfect if you're an aromatic guy, you know. So I hardly smoked over the last month, just going up to the op. I had sort of maybe once a week and the last week I didn't have anything and almost a week after the op, I didn't have anything because of uh, what we've learned, of course, uh, nicotine is a bit of a blood clotter. So it's such a joy to actually, a treat really, to come back and have a, after that, abs after that absence, uh, to enjoy a, a lovely pipe, it really is wonderful. The lighter today is a, a Zippo armor, deep engraved, as it's Sunday, I thought I'd take this one with a cross on it, got my uh, cement homemade pipe stand here, Tampa, I haven't used him for a long time, is um, William Shakespeare. Antique. I think this is actually an original Astley 
antique uh, tamper. I can't see it now because I put the ash on it, but that's one I got uh, from one of those antique shops on um, uh, Etsy, I think. You find them also on eBay. And uh, really lovely. Pelted with rain in the night, but um, now we've got sun and we had some sun yesterday. Very needed in Switzerland because the Rhine River is at flood level and several other rivers in the country are on alarm, you know, which could give us problems. But if, uh, if it's not, next week is very decisive. If, it, if it's only moderate rain, maybe they won't actually burst their banks. I found a very strange plant in my garden. So uh, on a little tree over here, I put the bird feeder in winter and fill it full of seeds and whatever. And in summer, some of those spilled seeds, they grow up in that little corner. So I just leave them, because some of them actually give nice flowers. And one of those plants looks like this. which looks awfully like, you know, cannabis, doesn't it? And that must have been in the bird seed. Well, it's no one of those birds were going loco over the winter, you know. One of them actually perched on this rail here and said, what are you smoking then? You should try this stuff. <laughs> Reminds me, I have to look for a, a Christmas card with a robin with a pipe in its beak. I wonder if there is such a thing. Otherwise, I'll draw it on and send those out at Christmas time. <laughs> You've noticed, probably, Pith Helmet Matinee mug, kindly supplied by Uncle Phil with my Redcoats Return, the original channel name but old red coat is still the same whether he's returned or renaissanced and in it i have some builder's tea i don't know if you can see that in the north of england you call that miner's tea you know anybody who does a lot of hard work with his hands and you, you like it really sort of dark and, and strong, which is how I like it. I use actually uh, Yorkshire tea, which is very good, and I can get it over here from the UK. It gives you a nice, strong cup of tea. Which I do find tea, black tea, is a bit more thirst quenching than coffee, you know. And to dunk in it, I've got some uh, nice uh, tea biscuits. These are actually the sugar-free ones, which means I can have a couple of extra more. Trying to get myself under 90 kilos. Quite close to it now. Lost a bit of weight over the last two weeks, but um, a little bit more effort might get me there. It's difficult, isn't it, summer? Because tonight we're gonna grill some steaks, you know, I've missed that as well. Did you see Cliff Higgins' uh, fantastic video about his brisket and his smoker? Absolutely wonderful, you know. Only in America, and especially in Texas, can you have that kind of kit and get those huge pieces of meat. Very expensive in Switzerland, actually, um, any kind of sizable piece of meat. meat. So We actually uh, get it from a farm up the road, so it's a, a little bit less expensive. But the main thing is you know where it's coming from, so that's what we like about that. It's not so easy to keep that sort of... Uh, Oh, 
light tempo to stop you smoking hot when you're talking or you, if, you, if you're like me you do okay anyway put it down and then you have to sort of rekindle it and uh, that makes the temperature regulation a little bit tricky but I'm not a clencher you know I like to hold it in the hand I don't like to get chatter on the stem so uh, I live with it. But this one doesn't burn particularly hot anyway. It's one of those incredibly nicely balanced aromatics, not goopy, not overdone with the taste, uh, but enough that you don't have to search for it and, and working really well with the tobacco taste. That's important. So especially, I would like to thank um, all subscribers and everyone who dropped me a note and expressed best wishes for my health. But of course, uh, Sandro, Pasolari, thank you, old mate, very much. And Jean Panza, thank you very much, old mate. A lot of these have sent me little emails or notes. And Chris Higgins, thank you. Jeffrey Alton Carter, thanks, old mate. Much appreciated. Uh, Giuliano, Jack the Piper, London, thank you. By the way, I'm getting one of his Big Ben brass tampers. That's going to be great because I've I thought I must have one, must have a Big Ben, you know, you've got to have it if you're a Brit, you know, so. Kevin Twiner, thank you, old mate, very much. And Opossum Piper just recently dropped me a note and best wishes, you know. Do appreciate it, it's a really kind, caring community and we all feel with each other, whatever's going on in our lives. And I think that's a wonderful thing, isn't it? If you haven't tried this and you are amenable to aromatics, you don't have to be an aromatic lover, but this is really the trout stream, almost one of the must-haves, you know, certainly in my top 10 aromatics at the moment. That top 10 will always change as time goes on, but this is definitely in there. Anyway, Dr. Frankenstein, he said, um, I put a few implants, you know. He says, your anatomy is a bit odd. For example, you've got two hearts, you know. But I said, Dr. Frankenstein, if my secret is safe, so is yours. So he says, all right, it's a deal. But it's a, it's a, it's a joy to be out and, and mobile and just I was in the shed yesterday smoking a cob another drilled cob by the way that was the wizard Missouri Meerschaum cob this one and I drilled it just the same as the others well, the only thing I do now is I take each drill from three millimeters four five six one after the other, just to give a very easy increasing of the drill hole. And the only tricky thing is sometimes you've got to drill the shank to make a bit more room for the filter that sticks out in these non-filter pipes. So the Wizard Cobb Missouri Meerschaum is non-filter, now it's filter. So I've got a short Parisa six millimeter filter in it like this and it works perfect so basically any non-filter pipe i'm pretty sure now i could i could drill them to take the six millimeter filter but sometimes the type of filter you put in might fit one and not the other i haven't tried it beyond cobs at the moment because of course gets more expensive if I screw things up 
with a briar pipe or something like that. So one of these days I'll try it, you know. It's, it's great to be out in nature. I was watching three little blackbirds that have now grown up. So they're like teenager blackbirds and the father blackbird, the black one with the orange beak peak was taking them out and they could fly, but he was still feeding them to show you can eat this, you know, this is what you can eat, this is how you catch it. And it was amazing to, to watch this, you know. So I took some raspberries, got a raspberry bush at the back of the house, tossed them to these little fledgling blackbirds and they tried it and swallowed it and, you know, looked at me as if to say, you got any more of that? Wonderful thing, nature, you know. My next video, I've been sort of preparing over the last couple of months, actually, is uh, about Japan and uh, I've got a new maybe three or four months ago I got a, a nice Japanese pipe non-filter a beautiful pipe and actually this is one of the ones that was not so expensive as a lot of them are and uh, I'm gonna have a sort of uh, Japanese evening smoke with you with some Japanese music and all of that. So that's the plan for the next one. And somebody asked me about gun videos. Um, do you know that my Glock video, comparing the Glock 25 to 19, it usually gets more views, even though I did it a year ago, than anything I'm doing and just releasing. So it's just the audience is so much bigger, of course, in, in that particular interest area. So I am gonna do one uh, where I will compare the Walter PPK to the Manurin, uh Effectively, the Manurin was uh, more or less exactly the same, made under license from Walther, just after the war years, but Germany were not at that point allowed to make them themselves. Uh, made in Elsass uh, by a French factory. I won't go into all the details, but uh, they're very similar. Uh, the Manurin is a bit lighter. So I will be looking at how they perform and um, it's a long time since I went to the range now and things are Switzerland as everywhere opening up, you know, so I can go back and practice again and we'll make a video about that. <laughs> right, I'm going to enjoy this pipe. Hopefully we're not going to get another thunderstorm. We've had record number of sort of thunderstorms in Switzerland. So you never really get a, a fully sunny day. You know, all of a sudden they're, they're here again, these clouds, but hopefully it will hold off a bit until I finish this. Well, you all look after yourself, take care. And I hope to see you this coming week with my Japanese pipe. Take care, everyone. Cheers. Bye-bye.